All right, still at the fort. Wow, look at this. After traveling through the log huts and the simpler lands of the Nora, this really is something else. And before we leave, I do want to bring back the soldiers who are missing from the fort and then spend a little bit more time searching Day Tower. I feel like the buildings must have more to offer and I haven't really had a chance. Oh, hey. A supply crate, for instance. Zayed. Do I know Zayed? I feel like I know that person. Hang on, what's going on up here? So far, all of the guards have been surprisingly friendly. Zayed. Do I know you? I'm busy, Nora. If you need something, speak to Captain Balan in the parapet by the market building. Apparently, I know him. I cannot remember... Oh, what's this? I can't remember how I know him, but apparently I know him. Oh, cool. A data point. Wow, I'm really glad we came up here. A scanned glyph. The derangement. Oh, wow. This So this is like a letter. So this is different from all of the holographic little bits and all of the messages we found. This is actually like a letter that we have scanned in so that we can call it back up on our, on our focus. The derangement. The derangement of the machines. Oh, it's a letter from the Sun Court. Okay, so this is some of maybe the internal reference that the Sundom has with one another. Esteemed lords and ladies of the Sun Court, honored kings and patrons, your concerns regarding the continuing derangement of the machines are noted. Though many seasons have passed since the first sightings of this frightful change, the Sun King is well aware of that this is no longer a matter of reports from border patrols and hunter lodge expeditions. One needs only to look to the abandoned estate lands, indeed the estates you owned, left for the jewel to reclaim, or for the empty freeholds of the common Karja folk. Know that the Sun King has taken every measure to protect Holy Meridian and the Maze Lands. Maze Lands? That must be where we got all, like, they have all of that food to trade. The Nora really rely on more of a hunter-gatherer society. And the Karja clearly have a lot more people. They have a lot more trade. They have artisans. They have levels of technology that you would struggle to achieve in a hunter-gatherer society. So I think that... The Mazelands must be like their, their fertile lands where they have a lot of their farms. I knew all of that food and all of those crops they had had to have some sort of fertile land where those things could grow. As for entreating the sun, we believe that the cause of the derangement cannot be the sun's displeasure alone. For the years of sacrifice under King Sun King Jiran produced no noticeable effect on the machines. His luminance and the Sun Priest are in agreement that even if this is an ordeal set for us by the Sun, our suffering will not be reduced with blood. So once again, a refusal to sacrifice his people for the sake of blood. I am hoping the Sun King is as good as they say. I'm a little nervous. If anything, maybe we'll end up having to rescue him from some sort of nefarious plot that Olin is wrapped up in. For your edification, I will recount what we have observed of the derangement. Of the simpler machines, the herd creatures, the gallopers, the scuttlers, where once they fled at the sight of men, now they are more likely to charge. The large creatures, once only a menace to the inebriated and the foolhardy, can be seen to lunge at the unwary with murderous intent. So, I guess 20 years ago the machines were not nearly such an ordeal. And that's right, this is to say nothing of the coming of the Sawtooth, which is a new machine, or its metal brethren, the Ravenger, the Stalker, or that terrible giant, the Thunderjaw. Each one has proved a more capable killer of men than the last, each wielding a wider array of stranger weapons. The wilds are no longer safe due to the hostility of these new machines, though to date they not attacked, they not, yeah, they not attacked a settlement within the Sundom. Outlanders have brought no shortage of fanciful explanations for this behavior. Some suggest that the machines have come to represent resent men for hunting them. Yet such a thing has never been witnessed among the beast of flesh and blood, unless you talk to elephants. And they are proven to be more capable of thinking and memory. Karja hunters and Osiram tinkerers alike have, fail have attempted to understand the phenomena by inspecting felled machines. 
but these appear no different to those harvested many years before derangement began, which implies they have some sort of scientific theory and record keeping. And also paper making. I, paper, candle, and ink making are all, again, technologies that it's interesting to see each group handles differently. Let's see. But the same assortment of wires, braiding, lenses, hearts, and so on. When these parts are subjected to the light of the sun, or to Osirum experiments with fire and spark, they react as they always have. The Banuk, however, the Banuk, claim to have recorded a change in the machine songs, or the machine spirits, suggesting that these may have become increasingly discordant. The Sun King has sent envoys to Ban Ur to learn more, in the hopes that their mysticism might contain a truth when the rational light of the sun is brought to bear upon it. So let's see, that makes the Nora, that makes the Karja, that makes the Osiram, and that makes the Banuk. I don't think we've met any Banuk yet, but we do have a few pieces of their armor, and I think it has to do with ice, because all of their armor is built around keeping you warm. Of course, the Sun King graciously welcomes you, welcomes your own contributions to the study of the derangement, asking only that they are delivered in written form and not during royal audience. His Luminous also hopes to dissuade you from participating in machine hunts during these uncertain times. The strength of a united sun court is the strength of all Karja. Respectful ta tashdi, Tashadi Court Envoy. Wow. There's a lot more information to learn about this world. Arrested two for disorderly conduct last night. You don't want to know what they were doing. <laughs> okay. And the guards appear to be a little bored, bored, but also handling everything well. What's inside the supply crate? Wow, a bunch of meat. Can I go in here? I don't know if I know how to use that kind of fancy door yet, but we'll find out. All right. Well, that was extremely interesting. I wasn't expecting all of that. There's apparently a boar hanging out down there. And now I know, oh, and there's one more person who has a quest over here. So let's go see what he wants. I know I need to find a fox now. I heard you talking about trouble in Banuk lands. Oh, Banuk lands! that out loud? What? Ears must be getting worn down from all those long leg blasts. But you heard right. I'm fresh back from the cut, looking for better scavenging and better shards. I What's guess the you cut? Didn't find them up there. Not with the Banuk wailing about new machines and talking spirits and their purses frozen shut. New machines? What's a trade route without trade? It's just a route. Hmm. All right, so wait, what's the cut? And why would we act like we knew that? What is this place, the cut? When the Karja took up swords and hacked away at the edge of Banuke land, they left the cut behind. So a battleground from the war, like the valley outside the sacred land. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mountain pass in the far north and east will get you there. It's open to outlanders, hardy ones, like you. Just don't expect much of a welcome, especially not now. Where is Banuk land? There's a trade route. I thought the Banuk kept to themselves. How do we oh, know we about Osiram the Banuk? Osram and the Banuk are neighbors, after all. What's a few mountain ranges between friends? And the Osram are located I north. I have some acquaintances out there, still trying to dig a living out of the ice, but they say nothing seems to stick. Okay. All the superstitious nonsense and rampaging machines aren't helping. Interesting. What were these new machines and spirits? Honestly, I don't even know. Going by the number of Banuk funerals, I'd say the kind you turn away from. Not really my style. Well, if you reach my grand old age, you might prefer picking up after hunters in the Sundom. It's warmer, too. Interesting. So what is that all about? It sounds like there's more corruption spreading. New machines and talking spirits? I'm interested. Thought as much, just looking at you. Don't say you weren't warned. There's a slip of a trail through the northeastern mountains, past what we call the Grave Horde. You won't miss it. You'll find what passes for a town on the other side. Maybe someone there can talk you out of it. Maybe. Maybe not. Thanks for the information. All right. Oh, into the frozen wilds. Okay. That's way beyond our level at the moment. Aloy, tra Aloy travels north to the Banuke lands known as the Cut. Okay. Where, where is that then? 
Okay, that's the complete opposite direction that we're going in. Past a lot of dangers that we haven't yet run into, and up into what I believe is the DLC, the expanded adventure for what we might discover. I think that's going to have to wait until we deal with a lot more of our more immediate issues, uh, and also until I have a lot stronger abilities and finally remember how to reload my bow with double shot. So for now, let's see, errands in foreign lands. Let's take care of bringing those soldiers back to the tower, the day tower, and then we'll work our way to a new area. I'm very intrigued to actually see what we might discover when we get ready to head out and wander into the Karja land. It's going to be quite the adventure. And speaking of adventures, let's use... I mean, is it worth using one of my... Alright, I don't think it's actually worth using one of my fast travel packs to walk 400 steps down the mountain. So let's go and collect those scaredy cat little guards who apparently got left behind. There we go. And we'll see if we run into anything on our way there. Save these for the trail. There. And I already managed to take out the two teeth bandit camp, which is pretty nice. The Karaja build so differently from how the Nora do. Okay. That's not alarming at all. That's fine. We'll just pretend that's some sort of hologram. Oh, there's a bunch of scrappers here now. And a fox, yes. I'm actually, maybe this is a good time to start practicing using my my little trip wires again. But at the same time, these are really easy to defeat. And I think there's a vantage point if I just keep going. I really want to manage to find that vantage point. All right, I do have some fun new weapons though. So it would be fun to try out the hard point arrow that would knock off some of the protection. It'd be really fun to try out some of my tripwire things too. All right, let's see. What do I want to use? The hunter bow, that'll do 30 damage. This will do 65. Let's use my precision shot. All right, that's a saber tooth actually. There's a lot of things down here now. Oh, there's a watcher here now. Where did all of these things come from? And why are they near that fox that I really need? Of course they would manage to show up and get in my way just when I really needed to start. Okay, those guys aren't actually a problem. It's the Sawtooth and the Watcher that I actually want to remove and get rid of. So let's check out what this, this Watcher is doing. I think it's just a normal Watcher, so it's probably... Well, but I also would prefer to take it down before it notifies like everybody in the area that I exist. All right, and hello you. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, those guys will run for it. That guy's down. Get there, come on. All right, that sawtooth is actually headed off. Aloy, could you please? <sighs> it's because I'm still trying to learn how to dodge. There we go. That's more like it. Okay, can't do that, noted. Can't just roll my way into whatever that was. I know how to override a sawtooth. Um, wait, I do. I know how to do what? Pardon me. Um, dear, I don't think that's overriding the sawtooth. Yeah, not overriding the sawtooth. What the heck? 
I think that's the first time I've ever been taken out by the machines. What the heck? Forget getting up there. Forget overriding sawtooths. I mean, as cool as that sounds, I would definitely have to sneak up on it. What was that nonsense? I am so much better than that. Look like the type who changed. Ah. Just their mind, red hair. To get to the cut, I need to head through a mountain pass in the northeast. You said. Okay, it was all just a bad just dream. I can't believe that. Your skin starts to turn blue. That means you're on the right track. But I am now offended. I'm kind of upset. You like what I have for sale? I promise. I don't have time for things for sale. I'm mad. I should have been able to like achieve that. No problem. I should have just been able to like stroll in there. What is the point of having all of this weaponry if I can't even do anything with it? I'm making a blast wire. I want to just blow some things up now. I'm going to take out the freaking watchers. I hope. Get them just out of the way. And I probably should have used a fire arrow on the sawtooth and that would have solved a lot of my problems. I can't believe that! I feel like my skills have just gotten rusty or something. Alright, round two. We'll go ahead and save here because now I'm offended. And I'm going to enjoy that vantage point now. Plus, knowing that these guys are so close to where we have the little bandit camp... Ah, that's just not gonna end well. Alright. What are you ridiculous creatures doing here, huh? Yeah, I see all of you. And we've got a sawtooth down there. I think the sawtooth actually protects... Yeah, the sawtooth. So the sawtooth goes there. Can I actually shoot a trail for it? Like, a blast thing for it? Because that would be more than slightly amazing. I would actually really love to be able to shoot a tripwire thing and just blow it up from over here. Alright, let's slip down here. <laughs> Scrabbling a bit. Shh. Dang it. Not close enough. Ah. I really want to just put a tripwire down. That'd be so cool. Where's that watcher? There's that watcher. Aloy, jump up. Man, I want to blow it up. I really, really, really want to just blow the whole thing up. Big time. Oh, there's is there a second one? No, I think that's the same one. Yeah, that's the same one. All right, you're going to get blown up. That's just the way things are going to go. I hope you're ready for this. All right. Sawtooth weakness. The last canister is right there. Meanwhile, these guys... Alright, I was trying. I know I'm blowing one of the machines up. I thought it would maybe blow up with the first go. It did not. Whoop, 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 whoop. Do I have anywhere to hide? Why is there no convenient bit of grass? And really, I should just be able to get in there and like destroy them. Okay. This. Okay. This offends my sensibilities greatly. Two watchers. Ah, little brats. All right, those guys were on their way here. All right, what I was trying to do was get to the point where I could put down the tripwire. I'm trying to practice and get a little bit better at some of the things I'm supposed to do, but so far... I seem to keep getting myself in trouble. <laughs> Alright, there's the lance horn. The sawtooth is back on patrol. 
Both of those watchers are still there. But now I think I could be able to get close enough. Because that's not the normal watcher patrol. No, go away, you! Get out of here! Shoot! Alright, where's that thing going? Are you gonna cause issues? Like, get out of here! Shoot, 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 shoot! It's way too suspicious. Okay, now it's just back to its normal thing. Easy, easy! Frustrating. I really want to be able to get the cool blast wire down. Not right in front of the sawtooth, though. Let's wait for it to turn around again and the watcher to turn around. Come on, I really want to blow you up. Actually, I do have a shock bomb and a freeze bomb. That might be just as cool, but I really, I want vengeance. I want to be able to see what being able to use this does. All right, hurry up, watcher. Turn away. Go away. There we go. Crying out loud. Why do we basically have to be on top of it to put this down? For real? Come on, I really want to use this. Definitely not scrap. Come on. Okay, I'm excited to see what that does now. All right, let's get up. I want to see this blow up. I very much want to watch. Oh, fudge. No, 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 no. You calm down. Ah, come on. You're not going to be the one to stop me. Okay, I think that blew some of it up. All right, go, 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 go. But it didn't do nearly as much damage as, as it was proposed. I am vastly and deeply offended. All right, come on. Do these not do as much damage as I was hoping for? Alright. Move, Aloy! Okay, that's good. What I really want is to be able to take out that sawtooth, though. It's still just confused as all heck. Alright, so I'm actually really disappointed. That was a good experiment. I'm really glad I did it. However, it was not... It wasn't good enough. All right, that should take it out, actually. Um, why does it have, okay, there we go. It looked like it had full health for a minute. All right, is that everybody? Ah, <sighs> that was not nearly as elegant as I was hoping. I think the answer is to basically just shoot from afar and shoot often. Also, I think they scared my fox off. I'm pretty offended about that, actually. All right, but at least we're ready for whatever the next chapter is going to be in figuring out how to save whoever these people are.